Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. American defense contractor Lockheed Martin has recently announced a substantial contract worth $861.3 million for the production of M142 High Mobility Artillery Rocket Systems, HIMARS, alongside associated support services. This firm fixed price contract reflects the soaring global demand for lightweight multiple rocket launchers, particularly in light of ongoing military engagements worldwide and the demonstrated effectiveness of the HIMARS system. Developed in the late 1990s, the HIMARS is a formidable addition to military arsenals, mounted on a standard U.S. Army family of medium tactical vehicles, FMTV, M1140 truck frame. Its design offers unparalleled mobility and versatility in various combat scenarios, rendering it an invaluable asset to military forces across the globe. Presently, the HIMARS not only serves within the United States but has also been deployed in several countries worldwide, including Jordan, Poland, Romania, Singapore, and the United Arab Emirates. Furthermore, there is burgeoning interest from nations such as Australia, Estonia, Italy, Latvia, Lithuania, Morocco, and Taiwan, attesting to its global appeal and effectiveness on the battlefield. One of Himar's distinguishing features is its ability to launch both guided and unguided rockets, including the highly accurate guided multiple launch rocket system, GMLRS, rockets and the potent Army tactical missile system, ATACMS, missiles. This versatility enables HIMARS to effectively engage a wide array of targets, ranging from enemy troops and vehicles to high-value strategic assets, with precision and devastating impact. The guided multiple launch rocket system, GMLRS, rockets, in particular, are renowned for their accuracy and impressive reach of up to 70 kilometers. This capability makes them ideal for targeting enemy artillery, air defenses, and armored vehicles with unparalleled precision, significantly enhancing battlefield effectiveness. Moreover, HIMARS' ability to launch unguided rockets such as the M26 further extends its utility by providing broader area coverage, ideal for suppressing or destroying enemy troop formations and soft-skinned vehicles. This combination of guided and unguided munitions equips HIMARS to support a diverse range of military operations, from surgical strikes to broader area saturation attacks, with equal efficacy. Additionally, HIMARS' capacity to launch the Atticum's missile, with its extended range of up to 300 kilometers, enables deep strikes into enemy territory, targeting high-value assets such as command centers and clustered enemy formations. This capability significantly expands the operational reach and strategic impact of HIMARS on the modern battlefield. The increased interest in HIMARS production is further underscored by its pivotal role in ongoing conflicts, notably its deployment by Ukrainian forces in the current conflict with Russia. Reports indicate that HIMARS has played a crucial role in disrupting Russian logistics and command centers, significantly altering the dynamics of the conflict. Ukrainian forces, equipped with HIMARS units supplied by the U.S., have leveraged the system to execute precision strikes on Russian ammunition depots, command posts, and other strategic targets. The system's mobility and accuracy have enabled Ukrainian forces to employ hit-and-run tactics, minimizing exposure to counterattacks while maximizing operational effectiveness. In conclusion, the latest contract awarded to Lockheed Martin for HIMARS production underscores the system's strategic importance in modern military operations and Lockheed Martin's commitment to meeting the defense needs of both the United States and its allied nations. With its unmatched versatility, precision, and battlefield effectiveness, HIMARS continues to redefine the landscape of contemporary warfare, ensuring military superiority and safeguarding global security. That's all for now, see you later.